friends, this is Shoham Bera, Consultant Optometrist from India. Today I am going to tell you about infant vision or newborn baby's vision development. So let's start it with. Without good vision, a child's ability to learn about the world become more difficult. Vision problem affect 1 in 20 preschooler and 1 in 4 school age children. Since many vision problems begin at early stage, it is very important that children receive proper eye care. Untreated eye problem can also and lead to other serious problems, as well as affect learning ability, personality and adjustment in the school. Development in vision. Newborn. The acuity or sharpness of vision of newborn is less than fully developed. They usually prefer looking at close objects and are specially attracted to faces and by objects that are brightly colored or of high contrast and moving. Third month, by this age, most babies can smoothly follow a moving object and can hold their eyes on it, even when the object stops. The color, details and moving part of mobile in creeps fascinate infants and help stimulate their visual development. Three to six months, by now the retina of the eye is quite well developed and the baby's visual acuity is good enough to permit small details to be seen. The infant is able to look from near to far and back to near again. Judgment of distance, depth perception is also developing. Now, in six months, at six months of age, the eye has reached about two thirds of its other size. Usually, by this stage, the two eyes fully working together, resulting in good binocular vision, distance vision, and depth perception are still improving. One year old, by the age of one, a child vision is well on its way towards full development. Coordination of the eye with the hand and body are naturally practiced by children and can be enhanced by games in the being pointing, grasping, tossing, placing and catching. Two to five years old, the preschooler is typically eager to draw. The preschooler is typically eager to draw or look at picture stories connected to picture. Drawings and symbols often captivate the child and help to coordinate hearing and vision. This is the small part of this video. I'm just going to tell a gist version of this. And if you like to want to, if you like to know more, then please listen to this portion of this video. One of the greatest moment when having a child is the first time your newborn daughter or son opens their eyes and make eye contact with you. But don't be concerned if that doesn't happen right away. The visual system of a newborn infant takes some time to develop. In the first week of life, babies don't see much details. Their first view of the world is indistinct and only in shades of grey. It takes several months for your child's vision to develop fully, knowing the milestone of your baby's vision development and what you can do to help it along can ensure your child is seeing properly and enjoying the world's to the fullest. See, infant vision development starts during pregnancy. Your child vision development begins before birth. How can, how you care for your own babies during your pregnancy? Extremely important for the development of your baby's body and mind, including the eyes and the vision certain centers in the brain. Be sure to follow the instruction of your guide doctor give you regarding proper nutrition including supplements and the proper amount of rest you need during your pregnancy. Avoid smoking and consuming alcohol or drugs during pregnancy as this toxin can cause multiple problems for your baby including serious vision problems. 
Smoking is particularly hazardous during pregnancy as cigarette smoke contain as estimated 3000 different chemicals that can potentially harm humans, including carbon monoxide, a known fatal toxin. Need another reason to avoid smoking during pregnancy add potential vision problem for your baby to the list. Even taking common medication like aspirin can be dangerous to your baby when you are pregnant, increasing the risk of low birth weight and problem during delivery, low birth weight has been associated with an increased risk of vision problem in infant. Always talk to your gynae doctor before taking any medication during your pregnancy, including over the counter of medicine, herbal supplement and other non prescribed medicine remedies. Soon after birth, your doctor will briefly examine your infant's eye to rule out the sign of congenital cataract or other serious neonatal eye problem. Though such eye problems are very rare, they must be detected and treated early to minimize their impact on your, child, child, on your child's vision development. Also, an antibiotic ointment is usually applied to your newborn eyes to help prevent an eye infection from bacteria present in the canal, in the birth canal. At birth, your baby seems only in black and white, the shades of grey. Never, sorry, nerve cells in their retina and brain that control vision are not, not, not fully developed. Also, a newborn infant eyes don't have the ability to accommodate. So don't be concerned if your baby doesn't seem to be focusing on objects including your face, it just takes time. Despite this visual limitations, studies show that within a few days after birth, infants prefer looking at an image of their mother's face to, their, to that of a stranger. Researchers believe this preference depends on large, high contrast stimuli like the boundary of the mother's hairline, her face. In studies, if these boundaries were masked with a scarf or bathing cap, the infant preferred of looking their mother's face winter. So, to encourage visual interaction with your newborn child, keep your hairstyle the same and avoid altering your appearance. One thing you may notice about your newborn son or daughter is how large their eyes are. This is because normal infant development process from the head down. At birth, your baby's eyes are already 65% of their adult size. So your baby's eyes in the first month, your baby's eyes are now very sensitive to light in the first month of life. In fact, the amount of light required for a one month old infant to be aware that light is present called the light detection threshold is 50 times higher than that of an adult. Keeping your appearance consistent helps your baby to recognize and interact with you after birth. So it's okay to leave some lights on in the nursery if could affect their ability to sleep and it may keep and it may help keep you from stubbing your toe on furniture when you go into the check. Infant starts to develop the ability to see in color very quickly. At one week after birth, they can see red, orange, yellow and green. But it takes a little longer for them to be able to see blue and violet. This is because blue light has shorter wavelength and fewer color reception exists in the human retina for blue light. Don't be too concerned if your baby's eyes sometimes don't appear to be working. Don't be too concerned if your baby's eyes sometimes don't appear to be working together as a team early on. One eye may occasionally drift inwards or outwards from proper alignment. This is normal, but if you see a large constant misalignment of their eyes, notify with your eye care practitioner right away. Tips to help stimulate your infant vision, decorate their room with bright, cheerful color, including artwork and furnishing with contrasting color and shapes. Also, hang a brightly colored mobile above or near their crib. 
make sure it is variety of color and shapes. Now vision development months two and three. Many advances in vision development take place in month two of three. Infants develop sharper visual acuity during this period and their eyes are being to move better as a team. Your child should be following moving object at this stage and start starting to reach for these things to see. A bright cheerful room with many care colors and shapes help stimulate your infant vision development. Tips To help stimulate your 2 to 3 months old vision development, the American Optometric Association has this recommendation. First, add a new item to their room or frequently change the location of their crib or existing item in the barn. Talk to your baby as you walk around the room. Keep a night light on the on to provide visual stimulation when they are awake in their crib. While infants should be placed on their back for sleep to decrease the risk of sudden infant death syndromes. Put them on their stomach and they were awake and you can supervise them. This provides important visual and motor experience. Infant eye examination. Many infants don't receive an eye exam in their first year. Only 80% of parents reported that their infant had received a comprehensive eye exam before age 1. In a survey conducted by the American Optometry Association in 2011. The survey which includes response from 1000 American adults also found that 61% people were aware that lazy eye and 63% were aware that crossed eye should be found in infants but fewer than one third knew that cancer. Farsighted and nearsighted could also be found in an infant eye examination. It's important to begin treatment of such problem as early as possible to prevent development delays and permanent vision problem as well as life threatening risks from eye cancer. This is why the American Optometric Association recommended that all infants receive a comprehensive eye examination by 6 months of age. Now vision development month 4 to 6. How quickly they grow? By age 6 months, significant advance have taken place in their vision center of the brain. Allowing your infant to see more distinctly and move his eye quicker and more accurately to following a moving object. Visual acuity improves more about 20 to 400 at birth, approximately 20 to 25 means 6 by 9 at 6 months of age. Color vision should be similar to that of an adult as well, enabling your child to see all the colors of the rainbow. Babies also have better eye-hand coordination, 4 to 6 months of age allowing them to quickly locate to pick an object and accurately direct a bottle and many other things to their mouth. 6 months of age also is an important milestone because this is when your child should have the first children's eye examination. Even though your baby doesn't know the letters on wall chart, your eye specialist can perform non-verbal testing to assess the visual acuity, detects nearsightedness, farsightedness and astigmatism which means myopia, hypermetropia and astigmatism and evaluate the eyes tearing and alignment. At this exam, your eye care practitioner will also check the health of your baby's eye and look for anything that might that might interfere with normal and continuing vision development. For the most true eye exam for your 6 month old and you may want to seek the service of an eye specialist who specialized in children vision and vision development.